And for me, this decade is to be serious about building a new energy system with much more decarbonized energy. So we need to be very serious, very serious in investing. And Total Energies will invest in $25 billion in these new energies, renewables and other molecules. But at the same time, it's, it's no way to think that we can make the, uh, gain the transition by cutting the supply of oil and gas while we don't still have built this new energy system. If we do it, price go to the roof and everybody complain. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's the balance that we must find. And, uh, and at the same time, because it's not a matter of fossil fuel, it's a matter of emission. Yeah. And it's why I think the message to an all oil and gas community must be serious about cutting emissions. Where in the company I'm very serious about is cutting my scope one and two emission. I'm responsible of the scope one and two. And I need to leverage technology. I need to leverage any, anything to, to, to get it. If I can produce oil and gas with no emission, I've done my job in my production. Then the question is the demand. If car manufacturers decide, decide to shift yeah. from thermal engine to electric cars, fine. There is no market, it's, this is the answer. But I don't build the cars, I don't build the planes, I don't know. So it's, it's, the scope free, by the way, for me is a problem because it's more a question of demand. And the demand is not done by the supply, contrary to what people think. The supply is there because there is a demand. So let's work as well on the demand. But our job yeah, yeah. is to cut our emissions.